I make my own Arduino <clears throat> watering automatic watering plant system. And the function of this system is to water your plant automatically as long as your Arduino <clears throat> and other three power supplies. <clears throat> so now here it is. You can see already the inside of all these things. And all you need to make this is this relay board to control the motor and there you can see it and then there's a pipe here <coughs> that flows the water from here to this plant and a moisture sensor and it's stick on this plant and then to make the watering structure you will need only lego and make sure inside the lego there's a way for the pipe to go through and you need some kind of this, well not just this, you can use any other things <clears throat> but the thing is just try to make a shower for this one <clears throat> and for this one I make it using some kind of an al aluminium thing and I make some holes there and <clears throat> you will absolutely need enough for the breadboard part you will need <coughs> And some jumper cables to connect between the breadboard, the LCD, and the potentiometer, and also the relay, and all the other things in here. <coughs> and then, the potentiometer here is to control the brightness of this LCD display. If it is too bright, you can So now, you can see the LED LCD display here, and you can see there's a value with a value of a hundreds which is <clears throat> the value detected directly from the sensor and there's a PCT here <clears throat> and it says around how many is it okay don't care about that which is already calculated from this value into the, a percentage for this one example just now there is a 20%. That means the plant there is 20% moisture. And now you can already see the relay board here. And you can see here there's uh, 7 cables here. And <clears throat> there are 4 cables here, which <clears throat> are for the individuals of these relays here. And there's one cable here. With the, which is the drawn of the whole relays and there are two extra cables here which powers up the relays here and each of them so there must be two drawns in here and then there's an extra an another extra cable here and for the red one here is the motor just now and for this one is the power supply from the ad adapter just now and now you can see there is a bucket of water in here which is the supply water supply to water the plant just now and there's some I have a waterproof mo pump there which is deep inside there connects to this pipe <coughs> and go to that shower structure thing and now you can see there's some plant here well, for this one, I've got a dried plant, which is perfect for me to show you that if I water it, the percentage just now will just rise. And that is the reason of why the percentage is so low like that. And this is <coughs> the moisture sensor here that I put it in here, which detects the moisture value just now. And now... <coughs> I'm going to show you about this that before that it can water the plant but I'm going to show you with a bowl first before I'm going to water the plant and the percentage here it shows around 3% but it doesn't water and I'm going to water it and I have already have my moisture sensor there and let's turn it on. And now you can see there 
that water goes into this aluminum foil thing and it goes down like a shower like that and you can see here also that the water is slowly draining here. so now you can see here that my plant is now <coughs> dry so I'll activate the shower And so, you can see there mm, that my plant is now mm, wet and moisture enough. So now, you can see there, after <clears throat> the plant is being watered, the percentage you can see there is now more than 60. So now, these are the list of electronic components that you must use to make that. Like this one, there's a pump, this is a relay, the sensor, and you can see this thing here. And then for the next one, this is the list of connections between the <coughs> the LCD screen and also with the Arduino Uno. And then this one is the connection between the relay. Yep, this is a relay part here, and between also the pump and also the adapter just now and everything all over here and also actually for this part here there's d13 and gnd are to the arduino so now this is the arduino program and as you can see here there's a pack of floats <coughs> which declares these variables into a float and then in this void loop there's an int sensor value and this sensor value is not in here because it must be reset every loop. And then this analog read is the de detecting from the sensor. And this one, there's a sensor value like this one with this if <coughs> prevents the max fall and the min fall from going over 900 and under 450 and then for this one this is the math part and these variables are got from these things just now and then for this one this if is the if which is used to control the motor like if for this one so if the percent is under 60 that means it turns on the motor or maybe the pump just now and then for this one <coughs> and for the last part is the LCD displaying part and only for the LCD display part I only display the percentage and, and for the, the last thing if you want this source code that connection diagram just now <coughs> subscribe let me know your email and you will get that thing so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.